Hello everybody! Sometimes when we try to save an image using the OpenCV I'm right function, we got this blank image in our directory. In this video, I would like to give you a tips or a method on how to avoid this output. Let us import the OpenCV and load our image using the OpenCV I'm read function. Here I read the image as a grayscale image. Next, I do a normalization by dividing our image with 255 or the maximum pixel value. When we display these two images, there is no problem, as you can see here. But when we try to save this image using the CV2 I'm right function, we got the error. Our original image here is successfully saved as a grayscale image. But our normalized image, we got this blank image as our normalized image. This thing happened because the data type of our image underscore norm here is non-unsigned integer 8. Let us check the data type from this two image variable. As you can see here, the first image has a data type unsigned integer 8, but in the second image or the normalized image, we got this floating number. This is sometimes happen when we do calculation such as normalize the image. So in order to avoid the blank image, we should convert the data type of the image variable into unsigned integer 8. In this video, I show to you two methods that you can use to convert the data type of the image variable. The first method, we manually convert our image. Make sure that your image is in 8 bits or the pixel value range is from 0 to 255. Previously, I was defined the image with 255. So here, I just multiplied the image underscore norm with 255 to return back the pixel value range. All right, here our image now in range of 0 to 255, but still in a float number. Next, we can use the NumPy to convert the data type. As you can see here, our image now in unsigned integer 8. Let us first delete the existing normalized image from our directory, and then we save our image using the OpenCV I'm right function. Alright, as you can see here, we have successfully saved our normalized image. The second method, we use the SK image library to automatically convert our image both the data type as well as the pixel value range. Let us import the SK image here and then we recreate or recalculate our normalized image. Let's we check the data type as well as the pixel value range. As you can see here, our image underscore norm is in uh, float number. Next, we apply the SK image library. Let us check again the data type. As you can see here, our image underscore norm now is in unsigned integer 8, and the pixel value range is from 0 up to 255. Let us delete the existing normalized image and then we save our normalized image using the OpenCV write function. Alright, we got this normalized image. That's the method that you can apply to save your image using OpenCV write function. If you want to download this notebook file, you can visit the GitHub link that I put in the description. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.